Shukla Medical is proud to introduce the next generation of bone screw removal, the Extract All Screw V2. It is designed to remove all broken and stripped surgical screws and screws that have seized or cold welded onto locking plates. The system presents itself in an upright fashion, increasing table space in the OR. The lid is removed by simply releasing the latches on both ends of the case and lifting it. The case displays all of the extractors with the tips facing upwards, allowing the surgeon to visualize the physical size of each extractor. There are four extractors of each type and size lined up vertically in the case. The broken extractors sit in the tray to the left, labeled from the smallest size, two millimeters, up to the largest, seven millimeters. Since each extractor is capable of removing slightly smaller and larger size screws, the range of usage can actually be extended up to eight millimeters in size. The broken screw extractors may be used under power, utilizing the Hudson extractor interface, or by hand, utilizing the T-handle. After the broken screw extractor is connected to the driver, it is turned in a counterclockwise direction, over the broken screw until the threads inside the extractor engage and lock onto the screw. Then, the screw is removed by continuing to turn the extractor in a counterclockwise direction. Once the screw has been removed, the screw and extractor are simply discarded. The extractors are cannulated, allowing the surgeon to follow a K-wire down to a screw embedded in the bone or deep in soft tissue. There are two empty rows marked extra to the right of the broken screw extractors for additional extractors if needed. To the right of them, are the stripped screw extractors arranged from the smallest size 2 mm to the largest 7 mm. Each extractor is capable of removing slightly smaller and larger sizes. Like the broken screw extractors, the stripped screw extractors may be used under power utilizing the Hudson extractor interface or by hand utilizing the T-handle. After the stripped screw extractor is connected to the driver, the tip is inserted into the screw well that is stripped. The extractor tip should come in contact with the side walls of the screw well and not touch the bottom of the well. If the tip does touch the bottom of the well, a larger sized tip should be used. Then the extractor is turned in a counterclockwise direction over the broken screw until the threads inside the extractor engage. To the right of the stripped screw extractors are two empty rows designed for additional screw extractors if needed. To the right of the strip screw extractor rows sits an extension which can be used with either the broken or the stripped screw extractors and is ideal in these cases where the screw is deeply embedded in the patient. A Hudson extractor adapter sits below the extension. This adapter allows for both extractor types to be used with the standard Hudson connector. To the right of the Hudson extractor adapter sits a ratcheting T-handle which will connect to either a broken or stripped screw extractor if removing the screw by hand is needed. Seated behind the T-handle are two of each drill bits, ranging from two millimeters to seven millimeters. These bits may be used for several reasons. One, to remove the head off of a stripped screw so that the screw may be removed as if it was broken. Two, drill out the wells of a stripped screw in order to allow for better seating of the stripped screw extractors and three, to drill the heads off locking plate screws, which have been cold welded onto the plate. The front vertical face of the case shows the name, part number, and location of each of the components in the system. The Extract All Screw V2 system contains single use only components. The location of these components are clearly highlighted in red and marked as single use only. The broken and stripped screw extractors, except the two millimeter stripped, are cannulated to either allow the surgeon to follow a K-wire down to an embedded screw or guide the stripped screw extractor into the well of a stripped screw. For better visibility, the extractors are 10 centimeters longer than the current extractile screw extractors. The stripped screw extractor tips are more narrow to allow the surgeon to gain access in between the saddles of the pedicle screws. These tips are now plated with titanium nitride, this allows the extractor to better engage the well of the strip screw, so more torque can be applied.
In the seven years since our successful Extractol screw system hit the market, with an almost countless number of clinical experiences and the feedback from hundreds of practicing surgeons, the introduction of the Extractol Screw V2 system once again demonstrates Shukla Medical's commitment of being the hardware removal experts. Because every minute counts.